My next guest is one fifth of the biggest girl band in the world from Girls Aloud. It's the beautiful Sarah Harding. <laughs> As always, good enough to eat. And we've got a Sarah, they've made a Sarah one as well. Here's the Sarah one. There you go, that's the Sarah one. Okay. <laughs> and this one stands, but then falls over very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I a... knew he'd do that! <laughs> Come on. I don't even wear that sort of get up. Here you go, and, and it makes a little thing. Like, ah, this is Sarah Harding! Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Enjoy yourself on the couch there. Sarah, how lovely to see you. You look and fabulous. Thank you, and you. Hey, Sarah, it's great to have you. Thank you for joining us. It thank must, you. Uh, I'm assuming it feels a bit odd being out here or doing things like this on your own without the other girls with you. It's yeah. empty, isn't it? It's a bit empty. <laughs> yeah. But you feel it adequately. I'm just saying it must feel... Do you miss them? Do you... Do you yeah, it, it is quite strange not having them next to me. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty cacking myself a little bit because, well, you know, you relax, I can't you... get out of any awkward questions. Well, I just want to reassure everyone because Cheryl's off doing X Factor yeah. she's got the solo album. The other girls are all doing other bits and pieces. Yeah. You're here alone and you're doing a new movie, which we talk about, but it doesn't yeah. mean Girls Aloud are not... No, uh, no, no, we're, we're simply taking a break. I think after seven years we've been going and going and it can sometimes become a little bit monotonous and I think we all felt that it was time for us just to take a little bit of a break and, and try to pursue our own sort of ambitions really. Have a bit of separately. time to yourself and... Uh, yeah, I think... Yeah. I don't know how Cheryl does it to be honest. I mean, yes. she's, she's not stopped. I mean, I went straight into doing St Trinian's um, and, we, you know, we've kept ourselves busy but not at the sort of pace that she has. Yeah. I think I would be... Well, she, and Dead presumably, I know you girls are very supportive of each yeah. other, I know that, and, and each other's projects. Presumably you will be watching The X Factor. I know you were there the evening she performed in those yeah. trousers that had been savaged by a dog or something. <laughs> I don't know what you like a postman who'd been trying to I deliver... I think she did Rottweiler. very well. She did great, she did but the really trousers well, yeah. were quite something. Um, uh, presumably, do you, do you watch The X Factor? You've been enjoying that show? I have, I have. I'm loving the controversy about John and Edward. The, Je and... the Jedward monster. What yes. about that? What do you think will the Jedward well, will happen? You know, they're getting, they're getting more interesting, aren't they? I mean, I think people are looking forward to a, a bit of a pantomime now. They, um, they might not be maybe the best vocalists, but they definitely are... Hold on, I think we all know they're quite clearly not the best <laughs> <Yeah>. vocalists. <laughs> all right, but, but they're, they're definitely but they're... the most entertaining. Yeah, yeah. So I think they're, they're kind of what's kind of keeping it interesting. They look there like, to me, any anyway, of they're like a couple of really successful sperms. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like they've swum all that way. Look at that, we made it to the egg. Uh, I, I, but, you know, you guys, uh, you came from a similar yeah. show. Yeah. Uh, and, and you mentioned it seven years. It seems to me like you've been around longer than that. It seems that I can't remember, you know, seven years ago, it seems too short that that's when girls are. You really have crammed a lot in in that period. It's weird, because at the beginning, it just... Everything seems like a real blur, and, and we were all so excited. But look, at, look at you there. Look how you've changed all these since then. You used to look like little kids there, really. Oh, very you... young and fresh-faced yeah. and excited, yeah. aren't we? Oh, my God, yeah. We've grown up. We've kind of grown up under the spotlight, and we never really had any media training, which, in a way, I think helped us, because we've all been quite bolshy and outspoken, you know. You've settled down with a man in your life right now, so yeah. congratulations. Uh, I believe his name is Tom. He is a musical DJ. A musical DJ, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. If you guys had kids, which you may well have done, and <laughs> your, your little boys or girls grow up, they're 13, 14, 15, whatever it is, and they want to go on a show like that, would you encourage them, would you let them, or would you oh. protect them from that? Because it's a pretty... I mean, it's a pretty savage experience. It's a bit of a cutthroat kind of... Um, I think I've been disillusioned a lot, over, you know, from the industry, but there's a lot of highs and a lot of lows, and as long as you're thick-skinned and, you know, take things on the chin, because you do get a lot of criticism for stuff, and you, you kind of just got to go, ah, it's here today, gone tomorrow, tomorrow it'll be chit wrap, whatever. But now you're focused more, uh, not so much on the music, as the acting, it seems to me. Would that be a fair thing to say? It is, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, we've all chosen different avenues, and I'm not completely saying I don't want to sing anymore. I've done some tracks for the album, for the soundtrack, um, so I'm still keeping the singing in, involved. Yeah. But the acting is something that I've always wanted to pursue since I was little as well. So uh, that's a good thing that you can then put it mm. acting, because I think you're a talented actress. There you are, in the TV show Freefall with Dominic Cooper, and I was impressed. 
I thought you did a great job there. And it's tough for someone to move, especially from a band like Girls Aloud, mm. into straight acting without people being maybe uh, overly judgmental, I think. But, uh, you know, you, you seem to get away with it. You pulled that off. That's why I'm taking baby steps. I mean, I did have um, part-time training before I, I came into the band. It's just... People didn't really know that about me, so I'm really cautious about people's opinions. And the St. Trinian's movie, the new one, is that yeah. finished? You finished that that's already? That's done. That's, okay. that's and out. That, that has David Tennant in as well, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and because you girls were in the first one, but only playing in, one of, in a party scene or something, weren't you? Uh, yes, we yeah. were the school band. Yeah. This doesn't come out to December, but we have a yeah. preview. It's the first time this clip's been I shown on TV. Any of this. Have a look at this. Oh, this is God. Sarah in action. <laughs> Roxy, promise you'll write me. <laughs> Love you, babe. Whatever. Ricky Wilson from the Cancer Chiefs there, who you're, who just, you're walking away from, of course, because you're is. that kind of person. Yeah, we uh, walk up. Well, that's great. And what are you doing next? What do you line up? Do you have another film, another part? Um, at doing? the moment, well, we've just uh, opened a, a new club, um, part, you, part. So you've opened a bar? I've opened... It's a bar restaurant, is that bar. Is that wise, really, so? No, I know <laughs> everyone's been saying that, but you know what? It's a, it's a wise investment, and I'm, I'm trying to keep a business head on things. I do okay. always think about that. And so you're... But you're pretty domestic at home now. Are you yeah. enjoying just home life? What do you I do? You garden? You, you look after... No, I don't garden, but we're thinking about getting a veggie patch. Okay. Um, and you cook at home? You've cooked I me something. I got you a little right? something. What did you bring me? I bought you a banoffee pie. Okay, and this is uh, handmade by you? Yep, okay. something I made earlier. Okay, <laughs> shall I take uh, This is genuinely... Uh, yeah, this is oh. for you. Right, and this is... And so you... Yes. you I put you it in a pretty little, you know, for you. You say you did, you really did I this. did, come on, let's have a bit. Oh, well, what ingredients are in it? It's a biscuit base with some bananas, some dolce de leche, some whipped cream. I think I that got a little good. bit overzealous with the cream. I think I whipped it a bit too much. It's do you eat properly? Because there's nothing I do. Give me a bit of that. Don't be greedy. Let's yeah. have some. Oh, God, I can't get into the biscuit. Mm. You like them? <laughs> Don't eat it all, because the, the guys backstage want some. None for you, fatty boy. <laughs> I like a bit of me boy! Like no. <laughs> Say please, say please. I want please, Banoffee, please, pie. <laughs> Sir, would you take some of this back for him? Oh, of course I will. There you go. Sarah's going to bring you some back, Michael. Thank you. OK. <laughs> he is actually pathetically okay. grateful, I can tell. Leave him alone. Before you go, I want to have a look at this. There was a programme called Girls Allowed Off The Record where you all did different things. They got you out of your comfort zone and did your different things. Uh, and guess, I guess it was stuff you wanted to do. Yeah, I was a bit of a uh, girl racer back okay. in my day. And so you, you thought you could handle a fast car performance car. And they gave, I don't know if you saw this, they gave so a, a chance to drive around. Maybe you should say what car it is because I can't pronounce it. It was a Ferrari. <laughs> exactly, it was one of them. Um, this is Sarah trying to drive her Ferrari for the first time. Have a look at this. Watched by the entire film crew, Sarah's Ferrari experience doesn't quite go to plan. Yeah, get it out of your system now. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've been a charming Thank guest. You Good luck me. with some trainings. I'm looking Thanks. forward to it. It's Sarah Harding, ladies and gentlemen. Delicious piece of pie. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Thank you.